Students at Dillon High School say change has been a long time coming. It's about time for improvement and change in Dillon because there's not much in Dillon. In 2007, voters started to make way for that change through a capital sales tax project valued at $60 million across the county. We had drawings and whatever that had turned yellow from the lack of, lack of funding. So the people in Dillon County made it possible. A portion of that $60 million went to Dillon School District 4 for various projects. The latest to be built are an auditorium and a new school district office. Two years ago, Dillon Middle School replaced the 119-year-old J.V. Martin Middle School. It was the first new building in the district since 1970. From what I've seen, she went to middle school here, and it's like they're focusing more on the kids now and giving the kids more opportunities. Superintendent Rogers says the sky's the limit as far as the ways teachers and students will use the new facility. 2016 is going to be the first class we're graduating in the auditorium, so I'm just very psyched for that. The sales tax referendum also funded renovations at schools in Lakeview. You can wait and wait and wait for the state or you can wait for the federal government, but the only thing that's really going, going to take care of you is your own people. Now, the district is researching Phase 3, which will not be funded by the penny sales tax. In Dillon County, Jordan Schumann, ABC 15 News.